Hey everybody, I wanted to show you my new holster I made here <coughs> for my everyday carry. That's my uh, Charter Arms 5 shot. But here's the holster. Um, it was pretty easy to make, straightforward really. I kind of mimicked my uh, other pocket holster, which was fabric uh, cloth, I believe, nylon, polyester cloth, whatever. And it just, I've carried it like that forever with this gun. Ever since I bought it in the summer of 2012, I believe. And uh, it just started getting where it was wearing real bad and holes in it. And it looked pretty nasty. So I had to figure out what I was going to do. And uh, I didn't know whether I wanted to go buy one from the store or, you know, order one online or whatever. Because, you know, there's a lot of manufacturers of uh, holsters. And it's hard to find the one that you like without getting your gun fitted to it. And not only that, I'm the type of person that actually carries it in my back pocket. I don't like carrying it on the hip or holster or the waistband because I'm a bigger guy and my waist kind of uh, overlaps my pants a little bit. And my gun sticks out of my uh, waist and you, you'd notice it. So I try to carry concealed as much as possible and, you know, somebody's going to see that sticking at your side. And that's the whole point to me is having a concealed carry permit to make sure that's hidden. Now, I'm not saying my gun is fully hidden when I have it on me, but the only amount you'll probably see is this amount sticking out of my pocket. And the funny thing was, you know, uh, my employer didn't even notice me carrying it um, on me until I told him because, you know, it was hidden so good. Which, anyway, um, but yeah, let's get back to the holster here. This is just uh, your, you know, normal Schedule 40 PVC. Uh, the diameter I started out with, I had to use two pieces of PVC. I cut, um, I bought a three foot, uh, uh, three foot I believe, or five foot, it was a five foot piece. And I cut two pipes about five and a half inches long and I stuck them in the oven till they got nice and flimsy where you can work with them. And what I did was I took a super sharp knife or you can use a razor blade, it doesn't matter, and cut right down the middle of that pipe and then fold it open and try to get as flat as possible and what happens is when you put it back in the oven to get more flimsy it'll start closing itself back you know to its original shape like a, a circle diameter so what you have to do is you got to spread it open and then step on it with something hard on the floor if you got a con or a hard floor uh, put something flat on top of it and step on it and it'll flatten out so I had to do that twice as you can see here this is two this is those two uh, pieces and what happened was I ended up uh, getting the gun fitted to it. But uh, before I had to get the gun fitted, I had to make sure that the uh, that the pieces weren't going to uh, weren't going to move on me. So it was originally two squares about this far out, about this long. And I went ahead and put screws in here. When it was flat, I drilled holes in here, three holes all the way down the side. This is my modified what happened when I got done with it, but. I end up drilling three holes along each side that I was going to stick the gun in and one hole right here to keep the retention because I wanted to make a retention holster for my back pocket and that was the original design so I end up cutting one of the screws off on both ends here because something happened I can't remember if it was too long or it wasn't fitting right so I figured I'd trim it up so I end up uh, putting it back in the oven and got it flimsy again. You can do this as many times as you need to. That's what's good about PVC. You know, it's melting point so low that you can do this in your oven or a heat gun or whatever heat source you can find. But anyway, so I end up getting it back to the fl uh, flimsy where I can get it fitted to my gun. And I had, I had these screws in here first because if you don't, it's going to get all bent out of whack. And, you know, it's going to retain some of its shape. As you can see, it's kind of uniform. But I went ahead and had those screws in there when it, when these two pieces were flat. When you get when you get it flimsy again or workable, go ahead and you can spread this open like I did as much as possible because it's super hot. I mean it'll burn you. I, I was wearing winter gloves when I did it. That way I can you know get my hands in there and work with it a little better. But I spread it open and then got my gun in there as you can see, and it clicks retention there's no way you're gonna get that out without having to push the holster off 
and these screws I got, they're really cheap. Uh, I, I think I built this holster for less than three dollars. These screws alone were like a dollar for 13 of them with, with the nuts included and they're small little half inch machine screws which will work perfect for this situation because you know the thing is when people put lock washers and stuff like that or fender washers on stuff the reason is because when it, something's vibrating when you're using that screw or uh, fastener um, you don't want it to un unloosen itself and that's why you use a locking washer but in this scenario or this case this isn't going to be vibrating so and plus the PVC actually when you put the gun in here it spreads open and makes these screws even a little bit tighter because I got these screws snug when the guns out but actually when you stick the gun in there this PVC actually spreads just a tad and it even tightens it up more so I know it doesn't look pretty but you know this is my holster and it's homemade basically and it's fitted to fit in my back pocket and I'll show you guys that here in a minute so I'm going to go ahead and stick this back in here and I made it where this holster, the head screw, you know, the heads of the screws was going to be facing my, my butt. That way when I sit down, I'm not going to get poked by these, uh, the left of the threads of the screw. And actually, if you think, you know, if you look at it, you're actually not ever going to sit on the threads themselves anyway, because the gun protrudes out of the, the actual, um, original design here or the, the framing. So you never sit on these. Yeah, because I like that. You know, all you got to do to break it. See, even a kid couldn't get this out because you'd have to know the technique to get it out. And the thing is, to get it like this, you got to put the gun in here and press down on the PVC on both sides to get it to fit properly and let it sit. And once it hardens, you can adjust these screws the way you need to. But I'm going to go ahead and stick this in my back pocket to show you guys it actually works. So... Let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in my back pocket here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Fits well and these jeans that I have on are, the pockets aren't that big anyway, so this will fit good in a, a, a jean that, or a pants that's got, you know, are kind of baggy. So all you do, and this is, like I said, the only part that sticks out of my <coughs> pockets this much. And you may actually think somebody could come up behind me and just yank it out. And then the, the other holster that I used, somebody could do that because it was just fabric. There was no retention or anything on that gun. Now, when you sit there and uh, have this holster on that gun and have it holstered inside your pants here, the holster itself, the way it was protruding out the, rig the, um, the, protruding out the original uh, design, how the, the um, revolver fits in there, actually you know makes the, the lips where it, it makes a retention and what happens that way when that somebody tries to come up and yank it out of your pants that actually catches on the the pocket itself so it won't ever, it won't ever break out like that somebody trying to come up and grab it out now what you do do to release the retention to actually draw this out of your pocket is you have to keep your thumb take your thumb and push down on the holster as you're pulling the gun out and it'll break that retention like that see it's basically the same thing as grabbing it out of your back pocket except you got retention now and it clicks in and I love that you know like I said it's so locked you know it locks so good that I mean I'm not saying don't do this but if you had accidentally left your gun out and you got kids or something you know they they wouldn't be able to get this out of there and I'm not saying don't I'm not saying to do that but if you did accidentally do that that's why that's one good reason retention retention holsters have a good cause it's because of that scenario and then you know like I said the other scenario is people trying to come up and grab your gun from you because they don't know how to get it out of the holster so I just wanted to share my holster here with you guys and I hope you like it I really do and it was easy to make it only took me you know, a little bit of time due to the fact that the oven getting warmed up and messing with the PVC itself, making it fit, everything fit. And I love it. And then, you know, if I ever wanted to do some cosmetic work to it, like um, make it look cool, like paint it or whatever, um, I could do that. I'm not really too worried about it, just the fact that it's going to be in my pocket nobody's going to see it anyway. So I love it. And I'm thinking about doing another one with actual belt loops on each end here because 
as you can see these screws line up perfectly and if I added the belt loops there got extended screws it fit perfect on your hip if I had to design one for a hip holster but I'm just gonna stick with this one for now and uh, wanted to share this with you guys so I hope you like it I sure do um, really that's about it guys uh, it just goes to show you can actually build a PVC holster and it looks pretty good I like it and it works and the only reason why I did this um, you know I'm gonna get a lot of questions like why didn't you do kydex or why didn't you do it this way why didn't you do it that way I want to be original I wanted to do it my way and you know to see if I could do it and try it and see if it work and I understand kydex you know everybody's got one it's just like night sights from a Glock everybody does it I wanted to be different I'm sorry but you know that's just the way I am and I felt like this PVC would probably work just a tad better and I feel like it's even stronger than Kydex to tell you the truth. You know, this stuff is so thick, it's schedule 40 and it's about probably at least, I mean I don't have a tape measure but it's more than an eighth inch thick and I know that for sure. It's sturdy, nothing's going to happen to it. So, but anyway guys, I'm, uh, I don't want to bore you with this video, I just want to show off my holster that I built. and. Uh, I hope you like it. Like I said, I sure do. So, you know, hopefully we'll be seeing more videos of this in the future. And I might actually do a video of me showing how I built it and how I actually trimmed it up and made it look smooth. And I mean, I didn't polish it or sand it or anything, but um, yeah. But anyway, guys, as always, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video and uh, appreciate everybody watching and sticking tuned on my channel. And we'll see you on the next one.